Hi XD Heroes and welcome to the Getting Started Guide for the Hero plugin for Adobe XD. In this quick video, you will learn what is possible with Hero for XD and how to get started with templates, how to preview, how to use effects, the timeline and scripting to bring your content and prototypes to life. Here are some random samples that were all created with XD and Hero. They all were created without ever leaving XD. Hero exports production-ready code. These compositions all run in the browser. So no additional developer needed. So let's jump right into it. First, we install the Hero plugin. You can do that right in XD. Just go to the plugins section, click on discover plugins, and then you can just search for Hero and it will pop up right here. And it's just one click. Just hit install, wait a couple of seconds and you're ready to go. That's it. Now you can close this dialog. So once installed, you can go to the plugin section and click on Hero. This is the hello screen of Hero. So you have access to the getting started guide. You're watching right now, you have access to more learning resources and you can uh, go to the showroom to see what others have already built with uh, Hero. But let's start creating. So the first thing I want to show you is how to use templates. That's a good starting point to explore the capabilities of Hero. So let's start with this first, first Hero Effects demo. We can just click on it and Hero automatically um, creates this artboard with all the effects already set up for us. So let's get rid of this artboard. So we just have this beautiful artboard here. And now we can click around and we will see um, what this composition has to offer. So in this case, we have these icons or these images here, and you can see there are effects applied already. So this has a magnet effect, this has a jump effect, and this also has a glitch effect. So next thing I want to show you is how to preview. That's pretty straightforward. So you just need a browser. And I can now hit preview. And the first time I have to select a folder where the files should be saved. We can stay with the default folder, so we don't have to worry about that. So just hit Start Preview. Now we can see this is the URL for our preview. We can just click on it, go to the browser, paste it in here, and now we see this composition in action. So we can close this window, and we don't have to do that every single time. So just once per session. So now I can just hit Preview, and you can see it's previewing again. And every time I click Preview, you will see the browser refreshes automatically. So I don't even have to click refresh or something. So I hit again and now we'll see here's the glitch effect. Here's the magnet effect. Here's the jump effect. And we can hit re uh, refresh again to see the glitch effect in action. We can actually use different triggers. So we could add a, uh, a hover effect to this glitch uh, as well. But I just wanted to show you how to um, work with templates and how to preview. Next, let me show you how to use effects and the timeline with your existing designs. So let's assume we have this XD document. So let's focus on these two artboards. So the first thing I have to do is select the artboard and make this artboard a hero scene. We do that with the second one as well. That basically tells hero to export these scenes and to enable effects and timelines on these scenes. So let's start with this image up here. So we select the image on the artboard, then we go over to the behavior section and there's the plus icon next to effects. So if we click this icon, you will see this apply effect dialog. So you have access to all the different effects here. So let's start with the magnet effect here. You can read the description. There are also uh, multiple options for uh, many effects, but in this case, we just hit apply, uh, apply effect. And we can do the same with this image here. Let's add a glitch effect here. Just one click and we're done. But now the user cannot navigate from this artboard to this artboard, so we can wire things up. That uh, can be done in the XD fashion way. So just go to prototype up here. Now you can select this element and now we can just create a wire from this um, image to this artboard. And let's do the same for this back arrow here. And that's it. So now we can go back to the design uh, workspace. So we can open the browser again, click preview here, select the default folder, get the URL and open this in the browser again. 
So now we have our composition in the browser. As you can see, the magnet effect is working and we can click on this and we see the glitch effect as well and we can go back as well. So again, magnet effect and the glitch effect. If you need more control for more complex animations, you can use the animation timeline. Let me show you how that works. So let's assume we have this infographic here, which is, by the way, part of the free starter kit for Hero. So just go to xghero.com slash starter kit. So you can download an entire kit, which includes this file. So let's assume we want to animate these bubbles here. So first thing, of course, is we select the artboard, make it a hero scene. So we enable effects and the timeline and uh, export this composition when previewing. So let's start with the animation. Let's click on the element we want to animate. And the first thing is we add the element to the timeline. We do that by clicking this button. Now we see the layer is in the timeline. We can do the same with the next bubble here as well. So now we see these two elements in the timeline. So let's start with the first one. So we want to add the um, X and the opacity properties. So we add tracks for these properties by clicking on the plus icon. So we want to animate the X position and we also want to animate the opacity. So now we have created those tracks for these animations, but there are no animations there yet. So we can add an animation by simply double clicking. So at one second, we want to add a animation for the X position. So double click creates this tween here. And now we see the start value is zero and the end value is zero. That's relative to the position we are here. So that wouldn't, wouldn't be actually an animation. So let's start the start value. So we want it to start at 100 um, pixels to the left. And we also can add an easing here to make it a little bit more natural. And now we can add a animation for the opacity as well. Just a double click here and it should start at opacity zero and at the end it should be opacity one. This is CSS based, so it's from zero to one and not from zero to 100. So that's it basically. So let's open the browser again, hit preview. And now we see the animation in the browser. It's as simple as that. So you can go ahead and do that for all the other elements here as well. So again, just add the two property tracks, go to the position, hit double click for both and now we can add a starting point of minus 100, add the easing again, set the opacity from 0 to 1. And of course, we can move things around here just by dragging. And we can even um, alter the duration. So maybe this should be super slow. And now we can hit preview. And now you can see the animation. Again, we can make those appear simultaneously maybe extend the opacity animation here and now you will see what is happening here so it's easy to fine-tune your animation and to create really complex animations of course you can zoom in and zoom out here um yeah so that's how you create animations and of course you can um create interactive animations as well so for example we could stop here we could even add a script at a uh, specific position here and we can use scripts, which I will show later, to control this timeline. For example, to resume the playback of the timeline, to stop the timeline, to jump to a, another position in the timeline. So all that is possible with Hero for XD.